hello. I just got back from an epic weekend in Lake Powell. If you've not been to Lake Powell, you should definitely put it on your bucket list. It is one of the most gorgeous, incredible, magical places on earth. I've been all over the world and I'm not kidding you. It is an absolute bucket list item. You know what the Grand Canyon looks like? Big red rock cliffs, deep canyon. Imagine that filled up with water and you can go and explore it all you want. <laughs> You can cliff jump, you're swimming, you're boating, surfing, all this amazing stuff. This is my friend Mike, he's not any good at surfing. It's, it's honestly like one of my favorite places in the world. It's in southeastern Utah. We've got an absolutely riveting performance by John. Okay, we're uh, still holding on to the rope here. Very difficult. Comment below if you have done wake surfing behind a boat. There you go. A little bit more on the front leg. Nice. Hey, just drop it. Just, just let go. Just drop it. You got it. Front leg, front leg. Yeah. But we had an incredible time. Um, did tons of surfing. We've tried this new thing called the foil board. And it's, it's foil surfing. So it's a big surfboard. And then there's a metal foil that comes down out of the bottom of it. With big fins uh, underneath that. And so you can actually surf up above the water. Because the metal foil is still in the water. And it's doing the work. It was extremely hard. you have tried foil boarding and let me know if you were better than I was at it. There was about nine or ten of us that went down and then two more came so there's maybe like 11 or 12 total uh, for the trips. So it was a small kind of more fun intimate group where we were all on the same boat the whole time and we just had an absolute blast. Yeah it just feels so much higher up here. <sighs> Cold? Yeah. <laughs> Dropping. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Two, one. This is my friend Shelby. She's one of my favorite people in the world. Shelby Welch. We've known each other for how long, Shelby? Like seven years. We've known each other. One of the nights we had the most epic sunset. It was almost as good as the sunset I had in Brazil. I mean, you can take a look and see for yourself. By the way, I want to take a vote here. I'm looking pretty rugged still from Pal. Um, I had a late. We drove in late last night. I just got out of the shower. It's uh, it's it's early for me. It's not early, but it's early for me. So I'm looking like I'm looking early. But I want to take a vote. Should I get a haircut or should I keep growing my hair out? I don't really quite know what to do with it. Sometimes when it gets this length, so I just kind of do this and then put a hat on because I don't really know what else to do. But vote haircut, grow it out. Okay, we are here in Lake Powell. This is the back of Annie's Canyon. It's one of the dopest alcoves there is. Water comes dripping down when it rains. You get some really sick waterfalls that come off right over there. But it's kind of eerie. I'm probably, I don't know, maybe 45, 50 feet up. We were gonna jump off right here. Definitely too shallow for that, not worth it. All right, I'm gonna try and show you how I got up here. It's a little bit of a rock climbing involved. Probably of no surprise to anyone. I'll do my best to not fall as I document this. 
They've got the nice little ridges. So that was day one. Then we played tons of fun games that night. Uh, Code Names was one of them, and then uh, Liar's Dice. Those are both really fun games. Day one, we went south from Bullfrog to Annie's Canyon and Iceberg Canyon. Day two, we went north to a place called Tapestry Wall. <laughs> This here is called Tapestry Wall. I don't know how high it is. That is so epic. So gnarly. Should we go under there, Mike? It's kind of eerie under here, huh? That is thick. We also explored another canyon called Forgotten Canyon. At the end of that, there's some cool Indian ruins called Defiance House. It's really neat. And I got some cool time lapses of the canyons, but they're just they're just incredible. They just like blow your mind. There's no place on earth like Lake Powell. It really is, it really is just magnificent. And that's the night we had the epic sunset. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous desert sunset. So Lake Powell, this is a cool stat about Lake Powell you need to know. There's actually more coastline along all the canyons and stuff of Lake Powell than the entire western United States. So you go from northwest part of Washington all the way down to the southwest part of California. That entire coastline is less than the coastline of Lake Powell. There's that many canyons and offshoots and things like that. But in the main channel, so there's the main channel and then there's all these offshoots, right? The main channel, the main part of the lake is usually quite rough wind, lots of boats, you know, boat traffic. The, the water will go and hit the canyon walls and then it'll kind of bounce back as opposed to like on a beach where it just washes up onto the beach and kind of calms itself down. Here it bounces up against the canyon walls and comes back in. And so usually in the main channel, it's a little bit choppier, rougher. But this last day, it was absolute glass, not a soul in sight, no other boats. The water was just as pure clean as could be, it was amazing. And that's where I started to get pretty good on the foil board. weather did pick up a little bit to where it started to get pretty windy. It was threatening rain and we knew we were leaving that night. So we ended up heading back in about two hours earlier and just got an earlier jump driving home, which was actually kind of nice because I personally don't like driving at night. 
Comment below if you like driving at night um, or if you hate driving at night. I don't like it. I, I really don't like it. I prefer to drive in the, the daylight. One more thing I forgot to mention on the first day, I tried wakeboarding. I used to be a really big wakeboarder. I loved it like I love snowboarding. In fact, wakeboarding is what got me into snowboarding. I loved wakeboarding so much that I switched from snow skiing to snowboarding. So I hadn't tried it in years though. It's just not as popular anymore. People don't love to do it. And so I usually just go with the flow. And if everyone's surfing, I'll just hop in line and surf and have fun with that because I like it as well. But wakeboarding has a lot more adrenaline involved. And this is a true story. This was not captured on film, which I'm very disappointed about. I did ask my friends to film me when I got out there and they didn't do it. And I landed a back roll, which is a flip. It's like basically like a back cartwheel. It's a back, back flip, they call it a back roll. And I landed it to my shame. Uh, I, I had let go of the rope kind of mid flip because I've, the last several years I'm used to not landing it. And so I just anticipated a wipeout again. And so I let go. But I landed it perfectly and just rode it out and the rope was out of reach, but I was still standing on the board just riding it out. So I landed a flip on a wakeboard again at age 38. I am very proud of that. I just really wish I would have held on to the rope. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog. Uh, again, I hope I've convinced you to put Lake Powell on your bucket list. It truly is an incredible place if you were in the United States, especially if you were in the Western United States. It's the drive away. You don't even need a plane ticket. So put Lake Powell on the bucket list. Love you guys. Please like, please subscribe, please share, please comment. You guys are amazing. I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. I hope I inspire you to be your best self because you guys do that for me. And we'll see you Sunday.